I'm gonna show Nicole around my town. Going to purebred. Cheers. On prom night, that is the farmer's market. First purchase. I'm sorely tempted. She shouldn't go in. I want to go in. <laughs> YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. This is a very impromptu vlog. I did not intend on vlogging today, thus why my hair is soaked. But as you can probably hear, I have a guest in my car. Hi! It's like mirror image. I'm not driving this time, which is like freaking me out. I know. I always drive. I don't I don't know why I don't drive. I think you just offer. I am a control freak. <laughs> you just offer a lot. I'm a control freak. Mm. I, I like to drive. I, I was like trying the power. to give you an out there. I was trying to help you out. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I, I can admit the truth. <laughs> I'm gonna show Nicole around my town. Woo. So we're gonna go to the first farmers market that's been able to happen this year. The first time it happened, it rained, so it didn't end up happening. This week is the first week, and hopefully it's there. I know it'll be there. <laughs> We don't have the greatest track record of things being there when we go. Oh, yeah, we don't. Because last I went to the farmer's market, it wasn't there. You can check out that video. I think, which corner is it? I have no idea. Let me flip it around. It's this corner. This one, I think. I've only had coffee, which is not a meal, no matter what anybody says. No. No, no it isn't. <laughs> so the plan is we're going to go to the farmer's market, check out a local bookstore, and then we're going to go check out the coolest 50s diner you have ever seen because it genuinely has been there since the 50s and it hasn't that changed really cool. one bit. Like I saw a black and white photo compared to now and it basically hasn't changed. <laughs> and I love that. I love it. It's not the chintzy kind of 50s diner that you expect to see. It's genuine history that's, that's really been preserved cool. and I love that. I love old stuff. Me too. And 50s is old. Well, if you didn't know, I antique and thrift all the time. So if that wasn't clear that I like history and old things. Okay, <laughs> we're hitting the slap happy stage. So we're gonna go to the farmer's market. You brought a bag this time, right? Good. By my foot. Good girl. Somebody forgot to last time. I have memory issues. <laughs> Don't we all? Ready to experience the best coffee of your life? No, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> you always said sure. I always so said realize what you said. <laughs> Going to purebred per usage. I got a sugar-free vanilla iced latte and Nicole got an iced hot chocolate which I've never even heard of or tried because I've frozen but never iced. So we're going to have to see what the verdict is. She's got very high standards. Are you just saying that for the case of the vlog? No, it's good. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's got oat milk in it. Yeah. So I'm still going to use that flavor. But it's good. Good. We have a winner. Cheers. <laughs> I was just telling Nicole a cool story about this Mayflower building. It used to be a theater back when I was in high school. Let me stand over here where I can <laughs> actually see. I was telling Nicole that on prom night, me and two friends came over here and watched Disturbia because none of us slept that night. So we just came first thing in the morning and watched Disturbia at the Mayflower. And I don't think it's been in use since COVID, it's but open. it's open, but I, I don't think it's a theater anymore. I don't know. It just says art center. Yeah, I think it's more of a gallery now, but this is where I saw a movie after prom. Now you know. Now I know. And then that is the farmer's market. And that is where I sprained my ankle. How? There's a bit of sidewalk that's uneven. And I right. stepped just right. Watch your footing today. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping we wouldn't have to park over there. How does it feel to be a vlogger for a second? Freaking me out. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? It's freaking me out. Uh -huh. I don't know, I filmed you trying to fix your car. It's true, and you did a great job. That, that was a bust though, but it was entertaining. <laughs> I got some local honey. I've heard that it's really good for allergies. I'm fixing it because it's local plants, it's local pollen. So by consuming it, it helps you. I don't know. So it 
makes sense. I think it makes sense. It. Ooh, ooh. Gotta catch up. I will. <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> Found Nicole's first purchase. Almost, maybe. Thank you. I got a popcorn right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorely tempted. Are you? Nicole has a fun app that'll tell us what these plants are. It's a new phone. It's gonna take me a moment. Yeah. Tell them how you uh, wrecked your old phone, Nicole. Oh, there it is. It was raining. We were having tornadoes almost. Like the gross sky was green. It was gorgeous and thunderstorms and rain. And I wanted pictures of the light. Uh huh. She's going for the duck eggs. I think I'm gonna buckle these in. Are ya? Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Well, the phone's that crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, even if I stop, just, you know, tap the brakes, they'll go flying. Oh, really? Yeah, because... Are my eggs gonna go flying? G-force or something. No. Okay. <laughs> Yours are more in the seat. Okay. We just got mm -hmm. done with the farmer's market. I found some sourdough bread. A whole loaf, homemade, which I'm very excited about. I bought some tomatoes so that I could make some pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, ketchup from scratch. Never done it before, but <laughs> I'm gonna try. Some local honey that I'm super excited to try because I've heard, oh, like I said before, I heard it helps with allergies and minor. Fingers crossed. Really her. bad this year. It's so bad this year. Last year was mm. not this bad. Every year is so different though. And then I think that's everything I got, right? Oh, I got a, I got a tomato plant. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know I got something else. I got a tomato plant that I'm going to put in my little garden because my actual tomatoes, I'm pretty sure- Died. Died, because I didn't water it enough. Because apparently tomatoes don't like being dry. Tell them what you got. I got bread, but French bread. I bought some sweet onions, which I'm excited for because I love onion. I bought some puppy chow. She couldn't have it. <laughs> yeah, it had peanut butter in it. I like puppy chow. I took one bite and I was like, this tastes peanut buttery. I don't. Mm -hmm. Please don't have an allergic reaction. <laughs> Please don't. I don't think it's the same as my garlic allergy, where I'm yeah. just severely EpiPen worthy allergic. It might be like a peanut sensitivity or something. Maybe. I've been avoiding it a long time, so maybe this one exposure won't matter. Hopefully. And then I bought duck eggs, which is why we're in the car again, because we're parked right across from the bookstore. I'm sorry. But we have to go back to my house to put them in the fridge. I don't want my duck eggs to go bad. I understand. The ho the car is very hot and I'm sweating, I'm so I'm we're sweating. gonna I'm dripping yeah, in sweat. There's sweat on my finger. Okay. okay. Hey, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to my house and then go back to the bookstore. Whew. Oh, that feels good. Isn't that better? So much better. I feel my sweat <laughs> just like drying up now. <laughs> Uh, so there's, uh -huh. <laughs> we've had to park at a very inop spot. Inop? Inop. Inopportune. Inop. I know, it's just funny to hear it said. <laughs> this is the same spot I um, sprained my ankle last summer. Not happening again though. Well, Not you, happening. you say that. If it happens to anyone, it'll be me, okay? <laughs> I can handle it. I can't drag you back to the car. Well, actually, we're just right like a few feet away. Yeah. So it's fine. We're good. I could drag you that far. I can hobble. I can jump on one foot. You say that, but when you're in pain, the silver lining is that there's a new store installed right where I sprained my ankle. She shouldn't go in. I want to go in. <laughs> she it's shouldn't. called Ivy Court Plants and Home. That's Cassie in a nutshell. That's me in a nutshell. I... We have to go. We have to. We're right by it. We're parked right by it. If we didn't, it would be a sin. A sin? A sin. Wow. Against shopping. A sin against shopping. Yes. A sin against Cassie. <laughs> potato, potato. Pretty much. Pretty much. Let me know in the comments. Is it unlawful? Is it sinful to pass by a perfectly good store simply because you might purchase something in it? Might. Might. Emphasis on probably will. <laughs> Emphasis on probably will. I know you. We may or may not. <laughs> shh, 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 you don't just say so. I do. <laughs> Did I tell you somebody commented, you and Nicole look like you have so much fun. <laughs> Did I tell someone really? Yeah. We don't have fun. No. We don't have fun at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. We don't even like each other. That's why I don't drive half an hour to go hang out with her. Yeah, no. I wouldn't do and that. And we're definitely not spending at least four hours today together. 
plus lunch. Yeah. You don't do that with people that you're friends with? No. That's that's what you do with your enemies. Enemies. We're enemies. Ooh, are you my arch nemesis? <laughs> I need one. You need one. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, we may or may not go into this lovely new store. We're going in. <laughs> I'm not heartless. That is the mark of a true arch nemesis. <laughs> You did let me put my duck eggs in your fridge, so. What are arch nemesis is for? Exactly. <laughs> this is our new thing. Yeah. This is funny. This is it. Okay, I'm gonna change out my battery because it's flashing at me, and we will go here to the bookstore and then to lunch. Woohoo! Pots. This is the wall that's gonna get me in trouble. Every time I see one of these, I just think there needs to be a rose in it. Anybody else? Let me know in the comments that I'm not alone here. Oh yeah! That's super cute. How much is that? $13. Um, I made my own with a Dollar Tree bottle. I think that would be the easier way yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. That is what made me spring my ankle. Oh! <laughs> Don't even joke! <laughs> Don't even joke! I couldn't know what's up. What did you think of the store that I made you go into? I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you going back? Because I'm gonna get my own apartment soon and there are some cute things. I like the air plants. Those They're are cute. cute. I like those a lot. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff Ooh, I liked. I could even get some from my classroom. Oh yeah! That'd be so fun. to the bookstore. Hi. Roundabout books. Okay, I've heard so many people rave about this book and I've never read it. So I'm going to read the first page, maybe the second page and see what I think of it too. Okay, this is some nostalgia right here. Pony Pals. I grew up with Pony Pals and these were my favorite books of my childhood, the Thoroughbred series, all taking place around Ashley and her horse, Wonder, which this is not. I don't know where Wonder is. I never read The Saddle Club, to be honest. You never did? No, but I, I watched the movies. Oh, no, the books are so good. Oh, I bet. Yeah, look, A Pony for Keeps. I remember. Stolen ponies. Oh, my gosh. If you have a little girl who has a horse thing, she will love all of these books. <laughs> okay, I thought I was bad in a bookstore. <laughs> this is my kryptonite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is why I thought she'd like it here. It's Carrie Paulson. Like the greatest author ever. How is much it? is this gonna run you? These are cheap. This one is $4, uh -huh. this one is 350 this one is... Mm -hmm. this one. What was that? Wait, rewind? What was, was that one? What was that one? That, that one. third one there? Seven. Slid right through? Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. <laughs> I've only found one, just where the crawdads sing. And how much is that? That is nine. But it's ah. a full-blown book, though. These are full-blown books! They're kids. tiny. They're kids. Look books. how thin they are compared to this. They're kids. Price books. reflects that. I'm I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying price should no. reflect the, Pri price the doesn't reflect thickness the size. of the book. Yes! No! <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I forgot to film the food, but I have downed my hamburger. I'm working on the fries, and I got a frozen malt 
That is so good. I'm glad I got a small though, because I'm not even sure I can finish this. And then Nicole got the same thing, just a bigger mold. <laughs> Hello loves, I'm now home. Nicole has just left. It was a fun day. I had so much fun showing her around my little town. I didn't share everything that I showed her, but I gave her little antidotes of the history that I knew. Like with that 50s diner, even on the wall it had all that history that I forgot to film. I forgot to include it. I love my little town. There's so much history behind everything. Most of the buildings are original to the town, just spruced up a bit with a coat of paint and repairs here and there. And I love my town just for that reason. So it was a lot of fun sharing those things, sharing my youthful stories of a less than wild adolescent. I got some really cool things. Let me show you what I got. I'll take you into the kitchen. There was a tomato plant that I bought that I'm so excited about. I think the one I planted, I think I accidentally killed it. But I brought that home and just planted it right away and watered it immediately. So hopefully that plant will do me some good. But let me show you what else I got. I bought some tomatoes, homegrown. This was not from an Amish vendor. This was this homegrown honey. Look how delicious. It's in a glass jar, which I'm so excited about. I, I didn't realize they had plastic and glass until he asked me, do you want glass or do you want plastic? And I immediately said glass because whenever I'm done with this, I can use it again for something else. But look how cool. Pure and natural honey. Eight dollars, which is definitely pricey, but I'm so excited for it to potentially help with my allergies. And who doesn't love honey made in your own hometown? Other thing that I got was sourdough bread. This I've been wanting for such a long time. I haven't made any myself because I don't have a sourdough starter, but this is homemade, only $5 for an entire loaf. I'm not gluten intolerant, I don't think, but I am gluten sensitive. I just don't pay attention to it very often because it's a very hard thing to navigate, especially with all of my other allergies and restrictions, but I thought that would be a good place to start because sourdough, the way the body digests the gluten is different in sourdough than it is in any other kind of bread. So I think that will make bread a lesser evil. I don't eat it that often, but if I freeze it and then toast it when I want to, it'll last me a long time and hopefully won't mold. The last homemade bread I actually made with my bread maker molded within a week because I forgot to put it in the fridge. In my head, I was thinking it's homemade. It shouldn't be in the fridge. I don't know why I thought that. I had it backwards. I should have been like, it's homemade. It needs to go in the fridge. <laughs> if not the freezer, but you live and you learn. And then I got a new little book. I did not need another book, but I heard so many good things about it and I just happened to see it on a shelf. I thought, why not? Why not try it out? And I read the prologue and that immediately hooked me in. I've heard that it's very illustrational in its descriptions. So some people thought they might get bogged down by all the descriptive literature, but apparently it's just that good even with it. So I thought this would be a good, a good story. It says, painfully beautiful, at once a murder mystery, a coming of age narrative, and a celebration of nature. So I thought I'd give it a try and I will report back. Let me know if you guys would like a little sit down book review of some books that I've recently purchased. One, it will give me incentive to read all of those books. And two, it'll give me something else to film when I don't have a vlog at the ready to post. So let me know if that would be interesting to you. I don't plan on making my channel a YouTube book channel, but I do love books. I've always loved books and incorporating that either in a vlog segment or its own video would be really fun. So let me know in the comments which you prefer. Would you like it in a vlog or would you like it on its own? That is everything I purchased. I would have purchased more had they had fruit, but they just didn't seem to have any. So maybe next time. I'll still go every weekend and hopefully there will be more produce every time. But I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. This might be a little shorter than normal, but I'm trying to give myself a break because every time I go to edit a vlog, it's two to three hours long of footage and I don't end up using half of it. So I'm gonna keep this one on the short side just to give myself a little bit of a mental break. Hopefully you enjoyed it all the same. Don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out with all of the YouTube analytic nonsense. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video. And I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.